So here you can see that I have an image of a lady and the lady has a lot of freckles on her face. So if you want to clear that out, then you can use something called clone tool. And clone tool is a bit different than the heal tool because clone tool lets you select the source. And to do that, I'm going to select the clone tool right here. And on the top, you have two options. You have paint mode and then you have source mode, as you can see right here. If I were to go to paint right here and click, then it says select source. So on the top, you can see that mode is there. So I can just go around onto source right here. And once I do that, what happens is that I can select out a source. So I'm going to select this clean area right here, click, and it goes back to paint. So I can go down and paint. And what it essentially does is it copies the texture of this area and you can paint it out right here, just like this. And you can work around with the opacity of the brush as well so that it's less. And what it essentially does is it copies out uh, that area's um, skin tone onto this area, as you can see, which clears out her skin in a natural tone. But you have to be very careful because it might seem unnatural because of the lighting condition. So what I essentially what like to do is uh, keep the source close to the object right here, click on it, and there you go. You got the source right there. I'm going to increase the uh, opacity and you can also keep it aligned. So what you can do is you can go around over here and then if I were to click here, then you can draw around right here, just like this. So you can just draw around right there and then it takes the source right there. Or if you are to disable the align, then you can see that it takes the same source no matter where you start. So you have to be very careful while you're working with this tool. So I'm just going to press Control Z right here. So you work there with this in a subtle way. So I'm just going to go to source right here, click here, click here, and there you go. There's the clean right there. Go to source and let's say, for example, I go over here, paint over here, paint over here, and then it's much more softer. Source right here. And if I were to uh, click over here, just like this, and then I can click here, and that is how you can paint around, just like that. So that is how you can use the clone stamp tool and then work around with it. So you can go around with different uh, brush styles as well and then work around with this in different ways. It is just copying out the same file that you take as a source, as you can see. And that is how you can work around with the clone stamp tool inside Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.